Being a sports person can be very demanding, given the number of people who gather to view live sporting events and the expectations to be met. Lots of sports individuals have been seen to show no respect or mercy towards their opponents in their respective sports as they're trying to end up winners. But cameras have captured some sincere and astonishing moments of admiration. Today, we're counting down 10 beautiful moments of respect in sports, with athletes showing kind and thoughtful gestures towards their opponents. Number 10. Young boy who lost his limbs to meningitis got his chance to play with the Tottenham players. A young boy named Marshall Jansen, who had a great love for football, was diagnosed with meningitis days after having his first birthday. The disease was so devastating that he lost his four limbs to his battle. The doctor who diagnosed him said he is the sickest child he's ever come across in his profession. However, the desire of Jansen for football did not decline as his new pair of prosthetic legs gave him the hope to play football one day. His mother said that the youngster was ashamed to play his beloved sport because of fear that his colleagues would ridicule his effort. His confidence increased when the Tottenham Hotspurs football club invited him to White Hart Lane to play his favorite players, where he dazzles around with a ball in a Tottenham Hotspur jersey. The young boy can hardly contain his excitement. Number 9. The gold winner Stasipan Papau carried his opponent who got injured during the European Games of Sambo. Sambo is a popular sport in Russia. It's a special kind of martial art between two parties in which the participants defend themselves without weapons. The European Games of Sambo that took place in Baku, where the final match of the competition set between Stasipan Papau of Belarus and Amil Gazimov of Azerbaijan. Although Gazimov has been considered to be the favorite to win the competition, the unfortunate move of the Azerbaijani contender turns the cup around. Papau forced Gazimov to give up after he caused severe damage to the foot of his opponent, disallowing him to continue the fight. Papau was excited to have won the match, but on the other side, his opponent was in considerable pain and could not even stand up to pay respect to the fans. The only thing he could think of is to show his kind gesture by loading him on his shoulders and carrying him off the mat to the medical center where he could receive proper treatment. Number 8. Bradley Lowry walking with his football idol, Jermaine Defoe, in his last days. Bradley is a young, energetic fan of Sunderland Football Club and served as the club's mascot several times. He developed a close relationship with the England international, Jermaine Defoe, Bradley was diagnosed with neuroblastoma when he was just a year old and six months. His story touched not only the club and the fans, but also the football community at large, as his days were numbered on earth. He was invited to Stadium of Light, where he trained with the players and scored from the spot in the warm-up before the Sunderland game against Chelsea. The goal was picked as the match of the day's goal of the month to give remarkable moments as the last days of Bradley were approaching. He lost his life to cancer at age six, and the football world went into mourning. Number seven, the football community pays tribute to the Argentine forward, Emiliano Salah. Emiliano Salah is an Argentine forward that is prolific in goal scoring. He was signed to Cardiff City in January of 2019. His life was sadly cut short following an unfortunate plane crash on January 21st, 2019. He was a regular passenger aboard a Piper Malibu light aircraft flying from Nantes to Cardiff. Their plane went missing, which led to the launching of two subsequent private searches, which resulted in the discovery of the wreckage on February 3rd. Salah's remains were recovered after four days. All football authorities across the globe issued a minute of respect before the commencement of their game for that week, having confirmed that they are no longer actively looking for Salah. The world was once more thrown into a moment of grieving. Number 6. A young lad scored in a professional rugby match held in Australia. In a rugby league match that takes place in Australia, professionals show their emotional side by allowing a youngster the length of the full field. A young boy had become separated from his mother and found himself on the pitch during an exhibition match between New South Wales and Queensland. 
The players noticed a young lad on the touchline and allowed him to get involved in the action. He got into limelight very quickly as the little boy received the ball and evaded a host of attempted tackles and got a helping hand as he placed the ball over the line to score. He even converted for an extra point when he kicked the ball over the makeshift post of a Queensland player with his arms in the air. Number 5. Jabba Kankava, a Georgian footballer, saved the life of FC Dynamo Kiev captain Ole Gusve. At the 2014 Ukrainian Premier League, during the match between Dnipro and Dynamo Kiev to determine the second place ABA, Kankava saved the life of the opposing team captain when he accidentally swallowed his tongue. Gusve, Dynamo's captain, received a blow from the Dnipro goalkeeper Denis Boyko. When Boyko tried exiting after having been challenged for a match by jumping involuntarily, hitting Gusve's head with his knee in the process. This knocked him unconscious for a short period of time, leading to a seizure and thereby swallowing his tongue. Kankava, Nipro's midfielder, reacted immediately, providing him with immediate help by sticking his finger into Gusfei's mouth, dislodging his tongue, and clearing his airway. Gusfei stood after a few minutes and walked away with only a common concussion. Number 4. Nikki Jane shows she's soft-hearted by helping a fellow runner finish a race. Nikki Jane Hamblin, a New Zealand middle distance runner, also displayed a rare show of sportsmanship, compassion, and Olympic spirit. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Nikki helped a fellow Olympic runner, Abby Diagostino, who fell due to Janeiro's heat. The two women were seen helping each other up, and even to the finish line. At the second Olympic 5km heat, with just four more laps to the finish line, Hamblin, who was amid a tightly packed runner group, missed a leg and, as a result, brought down American athlete Abby Diagostino. Diagostino rose up first and pulled her rival, who was still on the ground, up with her. The two runners had not gone a few meters, and Hamblin could be seen stopping to pull her back up. The two came in last in the race, but were allowed to race in the finals. When asked, Hamblin said she did not see a big deal in what she had done, and only did what had to be done. Number 3. Miroslav Klose dismisses a goal he scored against Napoli. German striker Miroslav Klose showed standout sportsmanship by admitting he scored with his hand as his Lazio side lost at Napoli. This occurred just three minutes into the first half of the Series A clash when the score was still at 0-0. This incident irked the Napoli players as the clog around the center ref and his assistant to protest the call. Then something happened, something that can only be done by the strongest of all wills, coupled with the fact that VAR is not even yet available with its drama. Alas, amidst the happy Lazio teammates, Closa displayed one of the unforgettable moments in the game of soccer. He admitted scoring with his hand. Against Diego Maradona's former club, can you imagine Maradona, the unrepentant perpetrator of the Hand of God goal, doing the same thing in June 22, 1986, World Cup quarterfinal against England? <laughs> wow, that would have been a different story entirely. Closa owned up to using a helping hand, and the referee disallowed the effort. In response to this action, Napoli players fell over themselves to rougher Close's hair in recognition of his moment of honesty. The thought of their coach on his side, however, remains a mystery, as his side eventually lost 3-0. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So, if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. A model invaded a football field to advertise her boyfriend's porn site. UEFA Champions League is club football competition that usually takes place every year, and only top division European clubs are eligible to participate in order to determine the best team in Europe. The football competition is known for magnificence, beauty, and the majestic anthem that drives players to excellence. During the last season Champions League final between Liverpool and Tottenham in Madrid, 
a pitch invader, Kinsley Walansky, who was wearing a skimpy swimsuit which read vitally uncensored, broke past security and managed to make it to the halfway line while play was still going on between the two sides. Her main goal was to advertise a Russian porn pranking website owned by her boyfriend, Vitaly Zdorovetsky. The timing and place of advertisement is perfect. After the incident, Wolanski boasted more than 300,000 followers on Instagram, where she regularly posts scantily clad photographs of herself. Her partner, Vitality's Uncensored YouTube channel, has 1.6 billion views. Number 1. Alistair Brownlee Display of Brotherly Affection During the 2016 World Series Finals The topmost moment of respect was when Alistair Edward Brownlee, an English triathlete, helped his younger brother, Jonathan Brownlee, also a triathlete, during the World Series finale, when the latter almost fainted. During the 2016 World Triathlon Series held in Cozumel, Mexico, at the final race of the event, Alistair gave up being the winner to assist Johnny, who was seen to have started showing signs of heat exhaustion and was on the verge of collapse. Johnny seemed to have been leading the 10K race and was at the final kilometer to the end before the exhaustion took in. Alistair carried his younger brother for 700 meters before finally pushing him over the line, causing Johnny to come in second place and himself third place. Alistair stated that his mother would not have been happy with him if he had sprinted past his brother, and perhaps the latter case would have been much worse if he had. Such a display of brotherhood is rare. That's our countdown for today. Which moment in sports do you think should have made our list? Is there any particular sport you'd have wanted us to mention? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos about the unique moments of respect in sports? Click on any of the videos you see on screen. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.